of the squad, so I think squad two, Krusty. Good evening, everybody. Uh, we can move you back and just have a small recon squad. My name's Muff. We're here on Cora. So, Beautiful Cora Valley. So you want, you Pretty flat and fieldy and wally. Uh, hotel eight. I'm here with my buddy Kirkley. Yeah, Say hi, Kirkley. Scout. How's it going? Yeah. yeah. And we are going to be running Operation Spartan Trail. That is correct. What is today, May 20th? May 20th, 2017. And this is Squad Ops. We're running a One Life event with certain objectives. And in this certain variation, we are running the USA against the insurgents. Now, if you're following me, you do not see anybody spawned in because they're waiting to spawn in. The commander is letting his guys know where they're going to spawn in. They've got three spawn locations they can use, and they're briefing their guys. So, that's going on. Let's get down to the nitty-gritty. The U.S. are choosing a defense location. It's a little bit more complicated of an operation. Not really, but a little more detail-oriented, I would say. The, the U.S. get one squad at a chosen defense location, and I think it's just a compound of their choosing uh, west of the Echo Foxtrot line, perhaps. I cannot quite remember, but something like that. Yep, they're going to be anyway. dropping their fob location. It's going to be Echo 7, keypad 9. All right, that's where they've chosen, Echo 7, keypad 9, up in the north end of the map here. And they, cannot, they can't just drop the fob. The commander has to drop the fob. And they start at the southern U.S. spawn. Is that correct? The FOB Ross? Yes. So the command uh, spawns correct. there. And the vehicles are up at Army Checkpoint. And the U.S., they've got work to do. They're going to they gotta go basically regroup or consolidate with that squad that's on the defense. They have to place their FOB down. They, they get a Logi truck, and if they can get it there, they can use that Logi supply to build any sort of defenses they see fitting and and defend. The insurgents, their goal is to stop that convoy from getting to the defense, or they're going to have to take it back. What do we got going on? I don't think they're ready yet, are they? Uh, no, it looks no, like no. INS is just going to be spawning in right here, so uh, it'll probably be a couple minutes still. Yep, okay. Insurgents can spawn. So they're going to start spawning in. And right now, I'm just flying around above everything. The insurgents will spawn in soon. Uh, Kirkley, I don't think he's got a camera tonight, do you? You're just flying around. I do not. Nope, no okay. camera for me. But we got a whole slew of other cameras, like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, at least 12 or 13 tonight. You guys are on best pony right now. He's Bravo, one of them. Is going to be Jithan and Silas. I'll let you guys sort Either out way. teams however you want, whether you want to use buddy teams or whatnot. Um, I think I found the compound. Just go ahead and break oh, yeah, there's now. a compound right there. You know, once okay. you've done that, what the plan is. Echo 7, key 9. There they are. Looks like that's uh, Truth Realm. He's the squad leader. Maybe the squad leader of these guys that are on the defense over here. They're a little circle of red guys on the U.S. I am on the insurgent side. I think it shows that. Jeez, man. Get off my case. But there are a couple of locations near that the insurgents can spawn on. But they've actually only spawned on the southern cache. See, they can use spawn at main or either of the caches. And we've got one squad spawn on the south. I don't know who it is yet. Man, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it looks like that's Krusty squad. Krusty the Sailor squad. Yep, still a lot of briefing going on. What else? What else? There's more rules. I guess the, the insurgents, they can scrounge for vehicles, so they can get any vehicle they want. And use it however they please. Not to mention, they can go back to main and repair and resupply the vehicle if need be. So it's possible for the insurgents to keep a consistent onslaught going on the U.S. during this. But that's tough to do. Look at all these guys in the chat. Hello. 
one's coming in. Good evening. As Tamora, slowly funny twenty three, and uh, and squad ops, whoever that is. Hi. All right. This is always a. I think this is a harder one to coordinate. Yeah, Mostly for sure, because... especially with the uh, with the U.S. team splitting this three different parts. Uh, you know, it can be kind of hard to get them all together. Squad four, squad four, check in over. Yeah, bro, right, uh, one moment, finishing out final order. Then, yeah, I know. Last time we didn't get a command brief at all. It was just like live, live, live. Yeah, I know. That was oh. crazy. I'll let you guys know what's going on. Quirkly, where's command? I know you're hearing us. All right, we can see some U.S. guys. Those guys you're looking at there, uh, the radio tower compound, just south of Market. Stand by for now. They've got some vehicles here, and they can definitely load up that lodgy. And I believe, well, the the vehicles have to come from the northern spawn, up at Army checkpoint, I believe. So they'll probably come from up there. All right, command. My my. My squad uh, sounds like we're live in 20 go. seconds here from US side. That's what it sounds like. Is that so? Oh, yeah. 114. All right. So, yeah, it's about to kick All off. All right. Here. Well, we'll just see what happens. I'm going to go back. Oh, here. I'm going to go find the surgeons who are attacking, and I'll follow them. Oh, looks like we've got a oh, little bit no, of a delay. No, we're not um, ready yet. Yeah, it looks like INS nope. was not ready for Karma's live call there, so. No, they just announced a hold. Something went up, or something came up. Hey, Dentrick, tell those blueberries to hold. Yep, yep, I told them hold. All right, I can hear Dr. Kamikaze saying something. They they just weren't quite ready yet. This is my first yep. up with you guys. Any, uh, Karma's yelling at all the squad tips? leaders, getting them to stop their vehicles, back them back up to their main. Oh, oh, oh that, thanks. Uh, this is your first up. Looks like a, about a 30, 30 more seconds until we're live here. Going, going. We don't know. We're I don't fucking know. Follow them. Mine's Bravo. I've got an idea of where right, we're, guys, going. we're going. To the we're going from to what the I can tell from the U.S.'s uh, plan, they're going to try and cut so south with their vehicles. Uh, they want to avoid that northern cache. Uh, don't want to hit a landmine or anything on those roads right next to the cache. Again, and especially with the INS, they've got two LAT kits as well as that Raider and the Scout. Uh, so they've got a lot of firepower that can take out their vehicles pretty easily. So. Uh, they're trying to stay nice and stealthy to get up to their uh, defense location and then pop on a good defense and just hold off the INS. Negative. Two's pushing to the northwest, three's pushing... Yeah, and I'm not even I'm not even sure what the insurgents plan is. Sorry guys, we're pushing northwest. Let's see, Tozo Toro asked how many players tonight. It looks like there's 66 total. Uh, there's two of us flying around, which makes it look like 68, but there's the two of us in admin cam. We've got this convoy moving out from uh, the north here. They crossed the bridge pretty safely, but it looks like they're going to be running into a couple INS to their south there. Uh, this could get pretty interesting pretty fast. Oh, here we go. We got the scout. They've dropped. They planted an anti-tank mine, and here comes the striker. One tap man placed it down. The striker is just up the road. Oh, one U.S. squad has gotten eyes on those infantry. They're engaging now. Take it slow from here. Looks like that's a uh, nasty Nate who's engaging uh, the INS right now. The insurgents are just chilling out. Yeah, we're They're more worried about the striker, it seems like. Putting down IED. There's some grenades or something going off. The striker's creeping up. It might just hit that anti tank mine. Oh, Wantap Man just dropped his. He just dropped the IED. Oh, it's about yeah, to go. It's about to get oh, all exploded it's right run here. Right over it. Oh, it's going. Oh man, there it went. The striker's on fire. 
two rockets hit. Uh, looked like the IED missed actually, so uh, yeah, it, it might be. Oh, there's oh. a third rocket. The striker is down. Yeah, that'll do it right there. Three rockets. I'm uh, not gonna stand up to a striker. I see OD tap falling back. Turtle guy five is holding position. Great job by the insurgents. It's like there was matrix in there. Oh, he goes down. But they got that striker. That was a big hit for them. Yeah, that was a perfect ambush by the INS, and uh, Karma's just telling his guys, clear out that infantry, and then uh, try and continue on with the logic truck. I've got Nasty Nate leading the way in. I'm taking command. There's, there's no one left for the insurgents up here. Almost that whole squad's been wiped to the north. There is Epic Mission and Dentric to the south. Um, almost two U.S. squads, at least one full U.S. squad. Keep hats up. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's like two, there's Shadowed Ritual and Nasty Nate yep. for the U.S. We're pulling back to the Lodge. We're pulling back to the Lodge. Three's taking up for one. Fall back to Lodge. Three clear Copy. the area. Uh, one's falling back to the Lodge. Uh, U.S. is falling back to the Lodge truck right now. They want to make sure they secure that, uh, so then they can drop their fob, get some defenses yeah. built up if they make it to the defense location. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll just get some security so it looks like the insurgents now. lost six, and now so have the U.S. So they both uh, lost six, lost six people. Command, we scout and our forward lat copy. So yeah, six plus the U.S. for that uh, striker. So that's that quite a blow hurts. that early in the map. Yeah. We've got engagements off to the west now. Looks like I'm getting here just in time to see Silver hey Pud get taken out. Tedish is pushing yeah, around. Tedish is going to get a look on this field. A couple guys. We got lots of contact up north. I think I wiped out a whole spire team right there. Hey, firm. Uh, three, uh, hold one for one second. Tedish might see these guys in the field. Oh, he does. Oh. He shoots a kahuna, takes out kahuna, but gets taken out. Tedish is down. Not sure who got him. Did my ID kill him? Looked like it was, uh, six seasons that took out. Uh, yeah, six guy. seasons or Google tricks. One of them. Good shot. He's got backup with him, though. Command, we are moving south of Reef. We, uh, we have Audible on. Uh, and I have another complex with Google Trek. He's peeking this corner here. Yeah, right Demine 41. One on me, one on me. Oh, here they go. They're going to see. Oh! Hey. Google Trek takes him out. Peek first and got the shot off. So, yeah. uh, nice job by Google Trek there. Go back. There's more insurgents over this way, but. When they get popped like that and there's no one close, it's hard to figure okay, so out where exactly the shots were south. coming from. Uh, I believe four told us that. Uh, three hold tight. Uh, I have two moving in position to the northern road, just north of him. Uh, Lots of casualties there. already. Yeah, no kidding. Eight, eight for both teams. At that uh, Logi truck right there, it's got about two full squads that are clearing the road ahead of it. So uh, hopefully they're not going to be taken out by any more IEDs. But uh, from what I can hear from the command chat, the I or the uh, Logi truck is going to be pushing on the north side of this river here, trying to get to their final location. Yeah, they haven't even got to that squad yet, have they? Yeah, they have taken no contacts is what uh, Truth Realm was saying. Uh, not even seen any insurgents over at the main compound. There are definitely insurgents in the way, though. Yes, there is. They're Boy, nicely spread out on that river valley. Yeah, it's Tedish's squad that is putting that together. But they are. They're, they got a good spread. There's five of them laying in here. So they'll be in good shape. Be spreading out a little more. I'm not sure who's assumed command of that squad yet. Uh, it sounds like the U.S. is aware of those infantry in the riverbed. Uh, they're calling them out, making sure to clear out that riverbed before advancing. So, make it a good little squad fight here. Yeah, Tedish took out a bunch of them uh, up there. The you got five of them. So, they know there's a bunch of guys there, whether it was just one that did the work or not. Hey, get in the back seat. The rest of them are hanging back and they're actually falling back. They might run into the defense squad. So just keep that in mind. 
I believe we'll be pulling south if we have to fall back. There's a good rock wall we can fall behind. Copy. Ooh. One insurgent just got taken out there. I'm not sure who that was, but yeah, he got he ran right into a whole squad of US. Oh so, yeah, uh, nasty Nate's whole squad is right there. <laughs> it's not gonna end well for him. And the commander of the US is right behind him too. That's Karma Cut. We didn't even go over that. We didn't have enough time. <laughs> I just launched right into it. Lodge is still making its way uh, slowly down the road, making sure the infantry clears that out in front of it. Uh, as we all saw what happened to that striker, don't want a repeat of that, so. Karma's telling his guys they need to pick up the pace a little bit. They're going a little bit slow here. Uh, so they're going to try and get to their uh, friendly forces a little bit quicker. I think they're going to start taking contact soon. Yeah, Turner's leading this uh, Tedish's old squad. They're falling back. They're kind of spreading out. I think they're looking for perhaps the defense squad, which is just north of them. Up in Echo 7, keypad 9, is that where they're at? The U.S. still has all of their original squad leads up, so uh, their command structure is very intact. Now, that could be a little bit of advantage here in this uh, second half of this. You know, I don't know how many died with the striker matrix. I think two, maybe. I think they just had a driver gunner in the striker, so. I hear Turner's squad using local. They've got the whole U.S. team coming up behind them. They're a ways out yet. The full squad way down there. Honestly, uh, if we don't find their yeah, say if we don't find their co their convoy relatively soon, uh, we're gonna anticipate that they are just east of you guys. Let me double check to make sure the bounds of where they're allowed to be is on the whole. Okay, so there's about five insurgent soldiers pretty close to the U.S. defense point, and the U.S. entire platoon is, I don't know, about five minutes from taking over this compound and really setting in. Yeah, so they can be on the east. Yeah, if you just can get their whole team in there, that's going to be a hard compound for the INS to breach. And, uh, they're definitely closer than the remainder of the INS forces. You know, it looks like half of them haven't even taken contact yet. Oh, then on the uh, south side over there. I'm getting a lot of communication on uh, command chat. Reports from Krusty in the south. They're ready to go. They're ready to move. They're actually starting to come up here. Wait, what's going on here? We, we can't go off here. Exterior wall's clear. That's what I thought. Does he know that Sounds like they're, the insurgents are a little yeah, worried. They might be there. somewhere south, you know, but they've seen a big this. push north. So, so they're just not sure yet. And the whole U.S. team is almost here. Truth from the squad that's... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, more Eats kids is coming. He's pushing a little north. Trying to just cover him. He might get lucky and see something, but it's doubtful. There's a lot of trees and bushes over here. Yep. Uh, command just gave squad four truth realm squad. Uh, they were the ones holding the original compound They just gave them orders to move out and start clearing out the compounds uh, So I guess they were just completely hidden in one little room uh, So they were staying completely stealth until the whole US platoon got there. So uh, can I take off? You know, I just don't know if he sees anybody here West uh, He's got quite a few trees in the way uh, You could probably hear that vehicle though Yeah, he definitely does he pulled out his rocket launcher uh, three, if you can move uh, a fire team possibly a bit farther north, saying north of Command's going to be dropping the FOB for U.S. team right now, and they're going to start getting defenses built up. But the whole U.S. platoon has now made it to the compound, uh, so this is going to be, uh, I is going to have to make a pretty solid assault to take this back. Yep, they're all there. Uh, still pretty even for kills though, eight to ten. Uh, so this could still go either way. Hey, somebody drop that logic, please. 
Yeah, I'm kind of surprised yeah, that it doesn't good. seem like doesn't seem INS has grabbed any vehicles yet. I'm not sure if there's an artillery truck somewhere that they could use, but uh, that would, I imagine, be their best best bet. Alright, I need shovels to me. Shovels to squad lead. Mortar's going down. Uh, U.S. is dropping a mortar down. Uh, they're just going to drop one mortar. Uh, they're right, going to start mortars. putting rounds out here relatively soon. Which, uh, with only one Logi drop, uh, they're going to have a pretty limited amount of mortar rounds to send out. So they're going to have to be pretty accurate, those rounds. Yeah, they will be. They'll have to be real accurate. The insurgents called out sights on the Logi. That was Krusty that did it. So I can see them slowly catching up here. They're pushing up, regrouping together. Squad 4, what's the location of that Logi truck? Dr. Kamikaze just had, uh, said to bombard that compound to the northwest of Squad Lead 1, squad two. which is right where they're at uh, with the Yardi truck. All right, let's see how they and do. they can do it. Yeah, they can do it because they can re resupply and rearm all they want. Yeah, they could just drop rounds for days on uh, this compound up here. You know, that's going to keep the U.S. inside those buildings, and hopefully I'll buy an to sneak up on them uh, and not get shot running across the river or anything like that. This clear on your southeast squad lead. Hey, that's Fight Team Alpha, so on that. Bravo, just stay at hold your current position. Uh, US is looking. They've got some pretty good 360 security going here, which is always nice to see. Oh, to see there's those so SOTT. many of them up there. Um, Basic is uh, holding true for some of these guys. So, yeah, they are looking pretty solid. INS, uh, from US point of view, does look a little bit spread out. So, we'll see what they do here. Yeah, definitely that one. Yeah, many of them are really far away right now. So it's going to be a few minutes before they can get in. The rocket truck is off to the west. And they might start firing soon. Range that with the Audi and put out rounds when ready. Scout if you are able to call the shots in, go for Bravo, so push up across the river and um, back towards us. They're just digging sandbags, putting machine guns down. Just, uh, doing as much as they can with this one uh, dump of supplies. Oh, it looks like we got shots going out. Uh, U.S. is taking contact from the southeast. Uh, sounds like a Dishka is shooting at him, so INS must have a technical that they're trying to pick up U.S. at. I heard Krusty calling it out. I don't know why they're shooting at each other so far away. Why did I take the rock? Oh, God. Um, yeah, that is quite a distance for uh, them to be engaging. You know, probably just uh, trying to distract the U.S. forces, like uh, make them look this way. Waiting to see them if they're gonna fire off some arty. All right, sounds good. Oh, Kamikaze saw it hit and he yeah, said it was short and to the left. Yeah. So, it should be a pretty decent three. adjustment. Up two and to the right. Copy that. Um, I need advancing. We'll just Get wait and see where the next one lands. This could really suppress the US. Oh, yeah, and there's, uh, there's only one or two that are actually under overhead cover. Left now? But uh, U.S. has spotted the enemy contacts to the southwest. Uh, they spotted those infantry on the other side of the river there, so uh, they know where the infantry is coming from. But uh, let's see how they do it. And we got mortar rounds going out as well. Let's see if those RD rounds start dropping in too. Let's turn the car right until the nose is pointing at 60 degrees. Do you know where the mortars are headed to? I'm pretty sure they shot one mortar round at that uh, Dishkateki off to the southwest. Oh, yep, there they it did. is. Yeah, it hit pretty close. Yeah, that did. Uh, the Artie's inbound right now. U.S. can hear it coming in. All right. Uh... Oh, sounded like those were just ranged shots. Uh, U.S. is aware that the Artie is ranged on them now. Yep, I haven't seen or heard the Artie go off yet, but they definitely know it's there. Left. Left. And if we're being that far away, that uh, 
the dish kitek is actually doing some pretty good suppressive work keeping the us's head down making him look that direction you got that on that on fired one more whenever you guys got a good position there on the east uh, just let oh here comes some arty Ooh, that was pretty close. Ooh, it injured uh, Shadow Ritual there. Yeah, that was in the compound. You should probably unleash. Yeah, that was a pretty good ranging shot. All right. I just heard Dr. Kamikaze say aim a little lower and fire for effect. Here they come. They're coming in. U.S. is scrambling to get in cover. Oh, they, oh, got, they nailed they got the mortar cut. pit. He got karma cut with it. Dang. Command is down. First rocket took out the U.S. command. That was... Uh, Lucky shot Multiple there for injuries. INS. Uh, man on the mortar is wounded, but he's just firing out those mortars. He doesn't even care. Uh, we'll see if he bleeds out or manages to bandage himself. I don't know if they... I don't know why they didn't fire more. They, that was beautiful. That was great accuracy. I mean, wow, rip karma cut, says Whiskey. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That was a pretty good shot. <laughs> Freaking rip. The one guy they kill is command. That's funny. Uh, US is still not aware that they've lost their commander. Uh, things are pretty business as normal right now. We'll see what they do when they realize uh, beloved karma has passed away once again. Got more oh, here already. Here comes inbound. more already. Here it is. Ooh, oh, he short. gets one more. Oh, yeah, right in the Two compound more. there. Turtle guy is five, that... and I think it was, I don't know, was it Jay Lashapel? I don't know who he just got right there. I think it is oh. oh, here comes more. Oh, that was a little short. Oh, that one. Oh, that's perfect. They're going to keep raining it, I bet. Uh, those were great shots. They're just going to be dumping these for the rest of the match, I bet. You know, they can right, reload go. as oh, yeah, many times coming. as they wish. Yus is going to have to keep their heads down in cover. Uh, still, I is not making. It. He's actually moving. Oh, they're the moving. The... Yep. Pretty smart. Maybe there uh, wasn't a resupply there. I'm not sure. Yeah, it doesn't look like US is going to be pushing out anytime soon. They're uh, pretty much Alamo at this point, and they're just realizing that Karma's went down. No, in the meantime, we've got an entire squad of insurgents on the far west side, where the Artie was shooting from. They are spotted. Yep, US is uh, dropping some pretty good machine gun fire down on those guys in the field over there. They got a couple 50s facing that direction, so uh, I'm guessing that might not be the best direction for the uh, INS to assault from. But they've also got that squad over there to the south, southeast. Uh, if they can hit these guys from three directions at once, you know, that would split the US defenses and uh, probably work out pretty well, I would think. Yeah, those are Krusty's guys coming in from the southeast there. They're just creeping along nice and slow. Yeah, uh, as of right now, those infantry are not spotted yet by the U.S. forces, so see how long they can keep it that way. No, I don't think Karma Cut was on the roof. I think he was. Let me know when it's clear. He was on the northeast corner. I think kind of right in front of the Lodgy truck here. That blown up. Yeah, Lodgy he was. Truck. He was sitting right next to the mortar guy, calling out ranging shots for him. So. Yep, right back in this corner, and uh, that's where one of the first rockets hit, took him out, injured a couple other people. And here comes more, more suppression, just fires from both sides, good, good, good. Uh, Whiskey asked what the objective of this operation is. Well, it started out with the U.S. having a kind of get to a single squad pinned by themselves at this compound that we're hovering over right now. And the rest of the U.S. had to get there to reinforce and support them. While well, the insurgents tried to find out where they were and stop it. Well, they didn't stop it, so now they've got to assault instead of defend. All right, I think I'm ready. Firing one to rain. And they've, they're really spread out, which is really good. And they took out the striker that the U.S. had early on. And here comes some more artillery. Yeah, every time they hear that Artie inbound, uh, U.S. forces are just kind of scrambling around looking for some good cover. Oh yeah, I see a couple guys prone on the ground. It definitely keeps them on edge. Uh, keeps them uh, really looking, keeping them from getting their 360 security. Which uh, uh, normally allow the INS to sneak that, right that in. Too far, so. Yeah, commentating with me tonight is Kirkley. Hello. 
first time commentator. All right, Seth, we're waiting Hope for I'm you. doing all right. Yep, it's he's doing a great good, job. I think. I can still hear Dr. Kamikaze giving just great command. He's doing a good job. Ooh. Communicating with this guys. More rockets coming in. We've just got contacts all directions for the U.S. right now. I'm not really yeah, sure where to look. Their commander's down. It's a little bit chaotic in the command shots right now. The insurgents have that. The insurgents have got that techie way to the east. They got a gunner on it, just laying down suppression. And in the meantime, to the south, Krusty the sailor's got his squad coming in. A little bit southwest is Turner's guys, moving their way up, and to the far west. Dr. Kamikaze is leading the way of uh, the other squad. I don't know if who's leading them. Lish's guys. And they're yeah, peeking infantry, in. Yeah, infantry's closing in from the north and the south right now on the U.S. Right, let's try that uh, U.S. just called out those infantry to their southwest, so uh, that's the first call that I've heard. So they're going to have to be repositioning right now because they've been aware of the context to the east and to the north. But, uh, this oh, is yeah, the, the U.S. is shooting a lot to the, to the southwest. I think it's Crispy just got taken out from the northwest maybe by one of these guys up here. I'm not sure who took him out. Here's Dr. Kamikaze. He's command. He's close. He's kidding. He's feeling it. He knows they're in there. Bloodthirsty. Peeking every corner. Oh. Uh, the Krusty the Sailor just said his squad's pushing. Yeah, the ones moving in from the north just uh, took out a couple U.S. soldiers on the wall, uh, peeking through a couple holes there. Uh, they're going to be up on the U.S. compound here soon. Oh, Krusty and 3 0 Mike Mike. Oh, gosh. Alpha just takes him out. The Baffinator just takes out 3 0 Mike Mike. Save Krusty the Sailor's life. Krusty just takes out Canadian up there. Frag in. And he's shooting it more. That's Nasty Nate's squad. Nasty Nate's coming up to see what's going on, and he gets hit. Smoking frag. Smoking frag. Frag in. Krusty's calling out heavy contact. Over here to the west. Squad leader, are you down? Negative. Not down yet. Taking a look at Dr. Kamikaze up here to the north. He's INS command, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, he's oh, and there's the, the rain of the artillery. Ooh, Takes out Nasty Nate. Other side of the wall. And Krusty's guys are coming in from the southeast. They've actually breached in the walls, the main compounds. Throwing smoke grenades everywhere. Oh, yeah, they're penetrating into this U.S. defense pretty well here. And, uh... And they, oh man, they've thrown a lot of smoke grenades. And they're throwing and, uh, more of them. The U.S. is still really worried about these contacts of the north. I don't think these guys realize they've actually got infantry inside their compound on the south side there. I'm sure I'm they're here in the gunfire now. Cover me. Faffinator's right up in there. So it's th these insurgents haven't gone unscathed, that's for sure. Yep, yeah, everybody frags over the wall. Oh, there's a medic running around healing people, nice. More nades coming in. Oh. Two down, two down, two down. No, no, I'm not good. I need a medic. Where's the medic? Yep, up on the northwest side, uh, Dr. Kamikaze leading from the front just took out a U.S. soldier. Oh Ground man, the insurgents got have got him from every angle. This is crazy. Oh, yeah. Uh, U.S. is just holding up in their center compounds there. Like Krusty the Sailor is pushing in. He is still moving forward. And he's like, we need more cover fire. And down oh, he goes. There he Mighty goes. Memes Looks... gets him. That was a decent shot by Memes there. Yep, good job. He's been waiting there, waiting just for someone to come through the smoke just like that. Yep, there's only one U.S. guy not inside a building right now. So, uh, two, my bad. There's two U.S. guys that are not inside those center compounds. And, uh... Oh, here we go. INS yes. is definitely taking the advantage here. They've only ah, got 11 KIA. Uh, US has 23 KIA right now, so INS is looking pretty good right now. C-Mike Matters pushing in on Steve and OD Tap. 
Oh, this whole compound. Oh, he takes out smoked. Steve. He turns around. He's reloading. Get in the Odie wall, tap watches his buddy die. He reloads too. Yeah, Alexa, to the east wall. Push to the east wall. Get off that wall that you're on right now. We're gonna see what matter does. Smoke, smoke's out. Smoke. Is he gonna keep pushing it? Odie taps calling He's out that they're in. close. And Ooh, Odie tap takes, takes him, him out. out. Through the little window in the building. Yeah, that's a good spot to hold right there. Oh, here comes to get him in more the back. Eats kids. And more Eats oh, kids takes out takes Tap. Him out. He gets hit though. Well, that bandage. Oh, he's got a nade. I don't know if he's bandaging. Lish comes in from the back and kills Pure Paradise. And Lish is getting kill more. Yep, Lish got kill more. He's squ right, squad leader kicking butt. He's on the oh, fob. Yep. There's Dr. Kamikaze and Lish right there. They're on the fob. Bandages uh, are going in. Is that all the U.S.? I don't see any more U.S. Oh, yeah, there's two U.S. over Immune here in this style uh, eastern compound. Basilius Goose. Yep. What a push in by the insurgents. That was hard oh. to follow. They were just coming in from everywhere. And there they go. Took out the last two U.S. forces. Wow. That was just... Uh, watching that develop was awesome. That coordination was great. Uh, all sides, same time. That was such a good push. That was just great. Good job by Dr. Kamikaze. He was given orders the whole time. So, uh, first of all, that was a great job by the U.S. Going in nice and slow, pushing their way. Just dissecting it all the way to the compound that they had to defend. And then good job by the insurgents. Just horseshoeing them and, and, and yeah. just pushing it and doing everything using that yeah. artillery just or the yeah. art that arty truck was just beautiful i think that was one of the best pushes that i've ever seen in a squad ops match you know that was so coordinated with the artillery and the three different uh, side assault you know that was beautiful yeah that was it was great anyway that was round one of spartan trail i'm muff i'm here with kirkley tonight and Gonna be right back on Cora for round two of Spark Trail. Uh, we'll see you in like two minutes, three minutes. We're gonna play a couple of SOTT trailers for you and be right back.